Every living organism we know of requires water to survive. It's part of the reason we look so feverishly for water on other planets across the universe and consume it consistently every day here on Earth. So what would happen to your body if you stopped drinking water? Of course, when we say water, we're including all fluids which simply contain water, like juices, pop, or tea. Much like the desire to breathe in oxygen, thirst is a survival instinct. H2O is the most abundant molecule in the human body, making up, on average, 65% of an adult. As a universal solvent, it carries nutrients and hormones through the body, regulates body temperature, cushions our joints, and even lubricates our eyes. You produce around 1.5 liters of urine every day, with another liter lost from breathing, sweating, and pooping. So it's essential that the body replaces this liquid. The thirst center of the brain is located in the hypothalamus and is constantly using sensors in your blood vessels to monitor the amount of sodium and other substances in your body. For example, if you sweat too much, your blood volume and pressure fall. The brain then detects this change and creates the urge to drink something now. So what happens if you're unable to satisfy this thirst? The initial signs of dehydration are the obvious dry mouth, following which your urine becomes darker with a stronger odor as your body attempts to conserve more fluids. The lack of H2O then begins to affect your brain. You might feel lightheaded, have a slower response time, and decreased ability to feel pain. In fact, when you're dehydrated, your brain tissue literally shrinks. In studies observing hydrated versus dehydrated participants, the same task required more brain power and oxygen in dehydrated individuals compared to those fully hydrated. After a day or two with no fluids, you'll stop peeing altogether, have trouble swallowing, suffer from muscle spasms, and likely experience nausea. After all, your body can survive without food much longer, and attention to digestion is not a priority at this point. Eventually, victims may become delirious with severely impaired brain function. Interestingly, studies looking at elderly patients who suffer from delirium found that many are simply suffering from chronic dehydration in the first place. After even more time without water, the blood stops flowing to your skin, reducing heat loss but increasing your core body temperature. This can lead to a gray bluish tinge to your skin. Beyond three to five days without water, and your body will begin to shut down its organs and eventually the brain.